Hello everyone, welcome to the set review of the Alpine Lodge Winter Village Collection set. It is a Lego Icon set. And this set released this year for the big Christmas Lego set. This will be one of five Christmas sets I'm going to be reviewing this month. And this is the first one. It comes with 1,517 pieces. Game set number 10325. And this does come with a lighter brick as it gives you a clue right there. And it says batteries in, um, not included. Oh, it says that it is included, actually. And this set doesn't look all that bad. We're going with a hotel inn type of vibe, and I like it. This set looks really cool from the box art. It comes with five minifigures, and it does come with some animals in here, too, which looks really cool. Now I'm just going to get into the um, back of the box to see what this set provides for us. Now, on the top, we do have four pictures. Looks like we have a portal potty, but built um, out of wood, which is really cool. We have a bed with a, a mini squirrel, which looks really cool. Then we have the fire the fire pit. This is the one that comes with the light up brick. Um, that's gonna look really cool. Then it looks like we have a little kitchen area for the owner or the worker to work on. And it looks like we do have a little cat too. All right, so we're gonna come up to the um, bottom left of the box and looks like we have a little skiing area here which looks really cool we also have that portal potty there looks like she's building a um, snowman there which looks really cool now to the house um it has three floors we're gonna start off with the third floor we do have a bed with a present there i mean i don't know if a bed would really look good in the attic but hey until it's an inn they can be very interesting now the second floor we do have a bed a door out to the patio there with also a present i have no idea what's there but it looks like a little table and then coming up to the main floor this is i would call the main lobby um it does come with a christmas tree looks like that's the owner right there and then we do have a customer just you know sitting by the fire pit so now we're gonna unbox this lego set and see how many bags it has all right, so now we're going to be unboxing this Lego set. This thing is huge, so I'm looking for about 13 numbered bags. There we go. All right, here we go. The first Christmas Lego set is open. All right, so first of all, we can already see the instruction manual here. And it is the very bad render, but I mean, this is actually not that bad. It is the Christmas season. You know, the colors are red, green, and white. So this doesn't look all that bad. You can tell it's a pretty thick instruction manual. Um, then just gives you like all the information about the set. Um, and then, oh, we have 10 numbered bags. Um, this is the second instruction manual. So, oh yes, we have a total of 10 numbered bags. That's all, that's not that bad. And then here's the other instruction manual here, which this is what we're gonna be building. And 10 numbered bags. I mean, it's actually not that bad. We're gonna take all of them out. And wow. Oh, we have our sticker sheet. Sticker sheet is most important. So here's the sticker sheet. We have, um, Four stickers, um, not bad for a set like this. I would expect more, but four stickers is fine. Um, and then, yeah, these are all the bags. Not that bad. You can see my cat right there. Um, all right, so now we're going to build this stuff. And now let's get into the minifigures. So here in this set, we do get five minifigures. Here are the five. We get four adults and then one child. You can see how some various accessories that they hold. And these are going to be the only minifigures here, here in the set, and they look really good. And here we have the snowmobile that comes in the set. It is really cool with the Christmas colors as red. We do have a seat there for a minifigure, which is going to be this lady. You could take off her hair and then put on um the helmet that comes with the set. Oh my, my bad. And you're just going to set her right here. And then there you go. And in the back, we do have um a little flatbed for the um, Christmas tree that comes in the set. So you're just going to grab it and then set it down. Um, it doesn't matter how you set it down. And then there you go. So when you drive it around, it doesn't, you know, just fall off. You can see them. Eh, it kind of does, but you get the point there. Um, we just have some just more red go on the color scheme with the actual snowmobile. And this is a really cool um, little build here.
So next we have the um, portal potty here that is built in wood. This is the Alpine Lodge, so it's out in the wilderness. It looks really cool. We do have like a little moon here. So I have no idea what that means, but when you open it up here, it's going to open it up. And then there you have the toilet with toilet paper in there. You know, nothing new. It's just um, something that's very cool in here. And then um, the base plate here, it's snow. We also have a little tree over here. Then we have some green and some snow as well. Um, so it looks like just some fresh snow just plopped on the tree and everywhere else. Same thing on the top, just some snow. Then in the back, we just have some more detail from the actual um, portal potty here. And it's a really cool little build. And next up, we have the ski ring. Now, what amazes me is that, like, the ice part for the ski ring is actually a very light blue texture. Um, I know on screen it looks purple, but when I lift it up to the light, it comes out blue, which is really cool. Here we have the little puck here, which is very cool as well, because one of these minifigures does come with a um, hockey stick, so you can just, like, play around however you please. So that's really cool. This also comes with a little kitty. I just put it there. It's not really supposed to be here. We have like a little snowman build, um, a pine tree. And then here we have um, like the little, um, I forgot what they're called, but that, that, that stuff goes on your feet. We have some money. And then we also have another tree with some snow as well. And then we have like a little bridge here just to come up like before um, the water. Pretty sure in the summer they just jump off, you know. Pretty fun. That's a pretty um, strong build. Just looking at the bottom, you can see more of it as well, which looks really cool. And this will be the skiing ring part. And here we have the Alpine Lodge itself, and it looks very, very awesome. I'm just going to start off with this sign here. It's called Two Pines Inn. We have some snow on the top, and then we have some of the Christmas um, whatnot over here. I have no idea what that is called at the moment. We're going to come up to the door and, you know, just, um, we have some lights next to it. So then when it's dark time, people can actually see. Coming up over here, we do have a window as well. We have some, um, some wood, some more wood on the bottom. So then they can cut and use it as a fire, which will make sense once we go into the inside. Come up to the second floor, we have some more Christmassy stuff along with snow. We also have a bird over here with its bird's nest. And then we have a little balcony over here with a squirrel sitting on top. And the balcony is pretty um, spacious here. You can fit about just about every single minifigure in this set. We have some snow on the floor as well. Um, coming up to the, eh, this is more like the roof. We have a lot of snow here along with the chimney, which as you can see, this top part can actually pull down. It will make sense once I go onto the inside. Now we're going onto the left. We have more of the chimney which goes um, all the way to the top. This set reminds me of the um, the set two years ago as the Christmas um, Lego set. It's called Santa's Visit. Um, yeah, it was pretty painful to build the, uh, the chimney. I don't really like building that part. But here is the inside of the uh, Two Pines Inn. This is the lobby down here. And as you can see, we do have a fire pit. And when I press down on that black part, it can actually light up. This set does come with a light up brick. And it looks fantastic with lighting up the fire. It, will, it looks better at night, but since the morning, it just looks really cool. But then we're coming up to like the little seating area. We have some coffee, a little cookie, and then we have the two chairs as well. And then here we have the, I would say the kitchen part. Looks like we have some cookies, some coffee, and then it looks like we have um, a little notepad over here with a pen. Now I was surprised with the pen too. That 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 model is that um. That's really cool. And then here we have a little empty circle with a stud. And that's where we're going to put our Christmas tree. Right here. And then there you go. So that's where the Christmas tree goes. You can also take off um, the studs as well. It also says an instruction manual. You can take it off. Come up to the second floor. I would say this is one of the um, in rooms here. Or the hotel rooms. We have some snow right here. Like if the person just came out. We have a bed over here with like a little Christmas wreath, a candle, and then on the other side we have a little rug, another Christmas candle, some more Christmas decorations, a bed. This also comes with a present. There's a few presents here in the set hidden around the area, which are pretty cool to find if you haven't built this set or your family just comes and visits. And then we have the third floor. I would say this is more like a attic. Like as you can see here, we got a lot of room here. 
You can't even stand up the minifigures. Literally just a bed. That's all you can do up here. But we do have a candle to light up the room because it is very dark compared to both of these rooms. And then here we have two presents as well. Um, I would say this counts as a present. I think kind of looks like one. Um, and that's going to be the um, all three floors in this set. Now we're just going to go to this side. I just have some more of the wood for the um, for the inn, which looks really cool. And then we just have some stone. We have a little, um, um, I forgot what those are called. Oh, we have a little crate here where you can put whatever you want. We also have a shovel on the side, so when you want to shovel in the snow. And I mean, overall, I mean, this looks really cool. I just like the texture of, like, um, the wood here. It was very hard to do. Um, there's a lot of these pieces, especially, like, the small ones, as you can see here. Those are um, pretty painful to put on. There are a lot. But overall, I mean, just at the end of the day, this set looks fantastic, and I would say it is worth the one hundred dollars. Well, everybody, that is going to conclude our set review. I'm gonna give this set a ten out of ten. This set is fantastic. I just love these the Christmas sets they come out with. I mean, this set's just fantastic. The build, the you know, the little extra builds that it come with, the minifigures, the snowmobile, just everything is fantastic and perfect. Um, to get this set to a ten out of ten point. This set um, does cost $100. It's not that bad as how much all the other Christmas sets have costed um, throughout the years that they've been doing this. And I'll see you guys in the next Christmas set review.